My name is Matthew Vivian and I'm the director and writer of The Women of Cradley Heath. The film is set in 1910 in the black country in Cradley Heath and it follows a group of young women who are trying to fight for more pay as they're currently on very little uh, and it's, ba it's loosely based on a true story. I did film production technology at Birmingham City University and so we had to do a final year film and uh, we basically just decided we wanted to not just do another film sort of set in a flat in Birmingham because we've done a lot of that, not that there's anything wrong with them, there's some really great films that are like that, but we wanted to sort of push the boundary out and we just thought uh, this city has a lot of history to it and the area has a lot of history to it, um, there's a lot of old buildings, I'm sure they'd let us film in if we tried and so we just sort of went around, asked uh, historians, we went to the Black Country Museum, we asked if there's any local stories that kind of ought to do being told, which haven't been told. And uh, yeah, we found out about um, this 1910 chainmaker strike and about Mary MacArthur, who was the uh, lady who led it. And uh, we, the story kind of wrote itself. We wanted to sort of make it fictional with this just historical backing. And uh, yeah, it just came from there. A major challenge that we faced was budget because Obviously, it's a period. It's uh, it's set. I mean, not just a few years ago, 1910. I mean, it's uh, it's from really quite a while ago. And we need the locations, we need the costumes in every single shot, and we need a bunch of extras in a few scenes. And we're a bunch of students. We raised some money on Kickstarter. Um, I think in the end, the budget was about 2,600 pounds. But like, that was definitely the hardest thing for us. It's honestly such an honour to be nominated in the Birmingham Film Festival uh, for our film. I think, uh, considering we're nominated for uh, costume design and production design, those are two things which I think are probably the film's strongest strongest um, assets. It's, it's, uh, but I think considering we're on such a low budget and we just sort of managed to cobble these things together, sort of asking people nicely and uh, asking locations, asking, uh, we went to some theatres to get the costumes. Uh, I think considering if they saw behind the scenes, it's all so cobbled together and so uh, uh, it definitely looks better than you'd think it would considering it's, a, it's quite an underdog sort of tale. So it's, um, it's such an honour, honestly, to be recognised for it. I really want to thank our production designer, Josh West. He uh, got nominated for this award and he did a fantastic job. He contacted a bunch of local theatres and he got the costumes that way. And uh, we were quite kind of lucky in that our... Um, our characters are, are working class in that era means that their costumes are quite baggy so we have we have the choice of like sort of um, if if there's a, a design we like they'll probably fit it and also it meant it was good for we need loads of extras and we did some crowd replication so we needed stuff which fit everyone we could swap around the costumes uh, he did a great job of that uh, the production design as well we were very fortunate with our locations there was a lot there already but um, again we had lots of props which Josh and me and uh, the producer Flynn Burkett um, sourced and we um, lots of the props actually in, in the office scene especially were actually from the period or around, around that sort of time they weren't replicas they were really old and we had to give them a good washing and a good dusting to make them look uh, as if they're not sort of hundreds, 100 or so years old I'm really proud of how the film turned out. It started off as just a student film, you know, we just did it for a grade and it sort of evolved into, we actually put a lot of effort into it. We wanted to really make someone we're proud of and uh, we're all just so proud. To see it in the cinema when we screened for our student films was already amazing to see, uh, just as a little private screening. So seeing it at the festival is going to be just really emotional and uh, I can't wait for everyone to see it. We'd really appreciate it if you came and watched The Women of Cradley Heath on Saturday the 20th of November at 4pm at Millennium Point. Uh, it, it's a historical film, it's 20 minutes long, uh, there's some good local history, I think if you're from the area especially, I think you'll, you'll find it really interesting.